Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgrey in BL tonight. We got Fesco Limited, the gas station company right here in Jamaica, traded in their shares. Fesco Limited Advisory that a director purchased on the open market two and a quarter million shares. They continue on this trend. We just carried them on Business Live, something like a one million and change share purchase as well on the open market. And now boom, two and a quarter million shares right after that. February 11th, 2022. Now Productive Business Solutions, PBS, a big time fourth quarter by the company here, PBS, and clearly the previous deals, PBS just in the market, you know, using quite a lot of leverage there, but PBS making their deals. And the big time deal, PBS Technologies, formerly Massey Technologies, that deal now gaining traction now, and you're seeing the numbers pushing in and coming in in the fourth quarter results. Talk about a deal there. Now six times year over year net profit, that's a growth in the fourth quarter. Earnings per share, EPS for the fourth quarter in US dollars, 4.19 cents versus 1.13 cents year over year, big time growth. Full year numbers for 2021, US 3.26 cents when you look at that overall. So therefore you can see the fourth quarter was the number. Now fourth quarter top line registered, 76 million US dollars, uh, 2021 overall. And for the year overall, 221.9 million US dollars. So this is a big business. Now Carreras Limited declaring a dividend here, and it's a nice one. Carreras interim dividend, Jamaican 23 cents per share. Out of, this is what Carreras states, out of accumulated profits, it's gonna be paid in March, March 24th, 2022. Now 138 Student Living coming out with their earnings report too. A lot of earnings coming out on the JSE. In this case, earnings dipping 12.5%, for the first quarter 138 student living having a tough time some balance sheet concerns we're going to go into that but the bottom line here the eps came in at 14 cents versus 16 cents that's december 31st 2021 versus 2020 total revenue was flat just on a core operating revenue a bit better but this takes into account you know other revenues as well so this increased total revenue by just one percent year over year 278.8 million from 276 million so flattish there overall now the finance cost increased by approximately 32 million that's a concern to 90.9 million for that time or the year. Now the net profit declined to 59 and a half million, as we mentioned, down 12 and a half percent. And long-term loans, this is the balance sheet part, close the period, December 31st, 2021, at a whopping figure, 4.21 billion. That's how they finance this company, you know, the, the rooms there up at UE, etc. Now current assets, the larger concern here, they only cover current liabilities by approximately 64 million Jamaican tight balance sheet if, we, if we've ever seen one. Now the cash and cash equivalents only also 21.5 million Jamaican, not a lot of cash on balance sheet there at 138 student living. Last up tonight, we've got QWI Investments Limited, a nice dividend here. They make it clear out of franked income. Dividend here, Jamaican, three and a half cents per share. It was declared, done, dusted by QWI Investments Board of Directors. It's gonna be paid April, April 7th, 2022. I'm Mark Crossgree, this is Business Life. Thank you.